everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another studio vlog. It's Wednesday, starting the vlog a little bit late. I'm working on restocks this week. I've been doing some doodles, got some here and some that I've already restocked. So these are like ebooks and I've got a little games controller. Um, the scripts I've been doing actually are with the files that I made when I first got the graph tech. I think I showed the vlog. I made this little like document where I was gonna go through and reformat them and tick them off when I'd done them. And then I decided that that wasn't gonna work. But now that is the way that I'm doing scripts. So I can actually make use of all the files that I made back then. So that's put me a little bit further ahead than where I thought I was. I've got this huge cold sore. Well, it's not even that big, but I've got like one of those patches on it, which makes it look worse. So we're gonna have to deal with that this week. So yeah, I'm gonna go through the restock list and look at what scripts I can be getting on with. In terms of new releases this week, I've designed one kit so far, it's called Lemonade, it's so cute. So these are the full boxes, it's such a pretty kit. There's like arcade elements, like retro, like movie rentals, there's cassette tapes, donuts, it's so cute. You've got the little lemonade stand, the fashion girl, this is another fashion girl as well. This bag did say SPF and I just made it say PF <laughs> for Planner Face, I thought that was cute. You've got the little mug with the stickers, it's so cute. But I wanted to wait until I've got the other new release designed before I cut these. So I'm hanging on to these even though they're printed. Because with the Graph Tech, it makes sense to do all the similar sheets together. So I'll wait until I've got another kit to cut. And these are the add-ons as well. Although saying that, I haven't designed or printed the mini kit, so I need to do that. Last week's new releases just need to be put away in their dividers because I was um, reorganizing my stock a little bit. I mentioned in last week's vlog that I wanted to go through and discontinue like the add-ons for really old kits and I did that. So I've got a ton of add-ons I need to make into a grab bag now, which is fine. But um, there's just boxes of kits everywhere and everything is, I haven't quite decided where it's gonna go like when I put it back together. So these are all my weekly kits now. I've moved the monthlies just because like it made sense to have the weeklies all in one row and then the monthlies will go somewhere else. Journaling kits as well, these are the new ones so they take up a little bit more space because there's like two sheets instead of just one. And then this is my overflow box but these aren't going to fit in the overflow box <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do. So it is Thursday, not been very good at picking up the camera this week. Last night we went to a gig, we went to see Maisie Peters and it was so good. Um, but I didn't vlog much yesterday because we were getting ready for that and stuff. But I've been restocking the scripts, like I said. I've found like a good method for doing those now, so hoping to power through a lot of those maybe at the weekend. I've just designed another kit called Beach Reader, which is so cute. It's like reading on the beach themed. And I'm not personally a reader, but I seem to love book kits at the minute. Like our Cyber Monday kit for last year was book themed, um, which I was so excited about. It's called Treehouse Book Club. We'll be re-releasing it. Um, next November, th this November, so for Cyber Monday. And I was so excited about that one when it came out and like there's been another like kind of reading like cafe kit last year that I loved. So I just love the reading kits, even though I don't read, but this one is really pretty, like bright summery colors. So I'll do that in a journaling format as well. I've been working on some doodles. My friend Amy is opening like a doodle Etsy shop and she's done some customs for me. So I've been getting those done this week. I sent her a huge list and this is just some of them, but I'll go through what we've got. So I'm just cutting these uh, now, but these are cheeses, which I've just wanted for a really long time. And then other ones that I've cut, we've got little smoothie oh I picked up too many we've got little smoothie um, jars like in the mason jars with a little strawberry which are super cute we've got some teeth I basically went through like the request list and was like which ones have been requested for a long time so little podcast microphones this is like a movie like clapperboard. I've been calling it a clapperboard all week and I'm not even sure that's the right name, <laughs> but I think these would be really cute for marking like YouTube or movies or I think the person that requested them is actually like a film student. <laughs> so that makes sense. And some stethoscopes. So I did have a doctor stickers requested and I think a stethoscope just works for that. So those are some of the new doodles this week. I feel like they're so random because I'm going through the request list rather than doing like a themed set. And then I also did, um, some of these are restocks and some of these are new. This is a restock of a sheet. Um, I've now made it like graph tech compatible, so it's a little bit smaller. You still get the same amount of stickers, but the sheet is smaller. So these are the large months that I like to use on my weekly spreads um, to label the month. 
but I also had requested to do a large version of days of the week so I've got those new this week and then these are the monthly scripts that go on the monthly kits so now my kits come undated without the month you can buy like your own month sticker and just stick it on so this is my existing font and then I did another version which has the font that I often pair with this one so this is like the capital letter one as an alternative I really like them both So new releases have gone live. I did the listings last night. Shopify actually has this weird new like product description AI generation thing. Um, I tried it. <laughs> it's really bad. I don't know if it was like the cues I was giving it or if it's just not that intelligent. Um, but it was making some strange product descriptions. I will put my favourites on the screen. But you can choose like tone of voice and give it like keywords and stuff. And it can also like simplify, rewrite or expand on your existing descriptions, um, none of which were very useful for me anyway. I tried it on my descriptions just to like see how it worked and it wasn't very good either but I don't know if it's the kind of descriptions I have, like they're very direct and like facts based so I don't know if it has like much to play with. But I just thought it was interesting that Shopify has like integrated that into the listings page. And speaking of like AI stuff, um, there's a lot of AI art that's been appearing on Etsy. Um, I don't... So personally, I don't really like the concept of AI art because the way it works is you give it like a prompt and it will generate an image. And I think typically like the kind of model it uses has learned from other people's art who haven't consented for their art to be used for the art generation, I think. Um, so it's kind of a... I don't know, it's up to you whether like you morally agree with that or not. It's like a highly debated topic at the minute. But I personally don't really like it and wouldn't want to use it for my clip art. But anyway, there's a lot of it popping up on Etsy and a lot of it is not being disclosed as AI art. So like it's being made to come across like it's been drawn by a person, but it's not. I think at the minute most of it is like the watercolour style. So it isn't a style that I personally use a lot in my shop. I do typically use like the other style I don't really know how to describe it but it's not like watercolor apart from like my florals but I do get all my florals from one specific shop so I would kind of trust that that they are drawing them but it's when they're being put on Etsy without it being clear whether it was drawn or created with a computer but I personally would feel a bit like deceived if I bought some art that I thought was hand-drawn and it turned out it wasn't but like 
it's kind of obvious if you do look at like the pricing and then the kind of art that's being offered like you'll see packs of like a hundred scenes and it's all the same like one kitchen scene that's like slightly changed and it's for like two pounds so like there's no way someone hand painted a hundred scenes and is selling it for two pound like I don't know, it's been grinding my gears a little bit just because it's getting harder to spot the genuine hand-drawn art out of all of the Etsy listings. I don't know if it's like a specific problem that's just popped up on Etsy lately, but yeah, I'm struggling <laughs> to find art through artists. Quite often I'll go directly to an artist's page and just shop from their page rather than looking at like listings on Etsy in the Etsy search. So it's not too much of a problem for me at the minute, but sometimes I do search Etsy for clip art and I'm weeding through like all these listings that I know are just computer generated art. So I guess like if you want to use it and sell it, fine, but I just wish it was a bit more clear and upfront who made it basically. <laughs> so that's my AI rant over. I feel like with the mystery, because we personally work with a lot of artists, we get to know them pretty well. And I just really want to support like the genuine real people and not a computer. <laughs> so today I'm working on cutting new releases. These are the add-ons. I've been doing the like deco pages. Um, most of them are cut to be fair. These are the SVKs, the doodles. So all I've really got left to cut is the mini kits and a few fashion add-ons. So I'm gonna do some orders. I printed some invoices yesterday that I didn't get round to. And then I also did get the um, CB09 blade holder that I said I was gonna order um, so that I can try and cut premium matte with a different blade. So it did come with, let me not drop them. It comes with like blades itself. So I actually got like, I think 30 blades. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be any good. I might end up putting my I don't know if I can put my clean cut blade in here, if it will fit or not, but um, I'm hoping if I can use these cheap blades to cut premium matte, it won't matter when they snap. So I'm going to cut the rest of the new releases and then I'll give this a go because I don't want to mess with the like settings at the minute until I've done everything that I need to cut for the week. So last night I did cut my premium mat and it cut really well with a new blade. So this is the blade that I'm now going to be using for premium mat. I might eventually replace it with an official graph deck blade because it's quite a lot heavier. 
like I weighed them and this is like 17 grams and the other one is seven so I just don't want to like cause any wear and tear to the machine but I don't think it would it's only slightly heavier so I just need to trim these sheets and then premium mat is ready to go and that will be my orders done so this morning I've just finished cutting the monthly kit so I'll collate these along with the weekly kits today so my plan for the rest of the weekend is to just like slowly but steadily work through these script restocks. So this is this week and I'm going to just be like reformatting them and cutting them as I do other things. It's actually kind of funny that this sheet I made like originally is now actually being useful. I almost threw this away and I'm glad I kept it. So while I work on cutting scripts, I've got a few jobs I can be doing in the meantime. There's two new art sets that I want to release next week, like a skateboarding themed set from Darcy, which is really cute. And Jess released like two colorways of a birthday kit. So I'm going to do both of them, which I'm really excited about. There's so many fashion add-ons, like scenes and stuff. It's going to be really cute. So I'm going to work on those for next week. We might do scripts next week. I feel like I'm in way more of a swing of things now that I've got templates for everything on the graph tech like I've released I think every kind of thing I design apart from multicolor I've released on the graph tech now so I have a previous version it's not like starting from scratch and having to make the new template that was on the silhouette to work for the graph tech so hopefully I'll be in a much better swing of things going forward I already feel like I am but it can only really get better now that I've got the graph tech so there's that I need to just do a little bit of bookkeeping I've done most of well <laughs> I did like most of February, March and April, but like not fully. So the way I do my bookkeeping is I'll go and find all my receipts for like one website, say Amazon, and I'll go and do every transaction for Amazon. Then I'll go and find all my PayPal transactions and download the receipts and do all the PayPal ones. So there's not a lot left to do. I think I, think I actually have PayPal left to do. I did Etsy, but I have to do my bookkeeping more regularly now. So I'll try and do that this weekend. My goal is to basically just do it before the accountant tells me to do it <laughs> because I want it to be like a pleasant surprise that it's already done. Um, so I'll try and get that done, which shouldn't be too big of a job, like I say, because I've done a lot of it. And then the main thing that I do need to get done is I need to design a freebie for National Stationery Day, which is next Wednesday. And I'm going to be doing a little flash sale, 24 hour sale for that. So I want to do, in my head, I'm imagining like a little freebie with stationery like doodles on it, like pens and planners and like stuff like that I think it will be really cute so I want to do something like that the sale will be 20% off and it will run from midnight to midnight so it's not like a evening or a midday sale it is midnight so when the Tuesday becomes Wednesday 20% off for 24 hours until Wednesday becomes Thursday that's how it makes sense in my brain <laughs> so there won't be like new designs for the sale but I will be releasing all of the grab and oops bags that I've got made which is quite a lot. I showed in the last vlog, I've got like loads of premium, I've got regular oops, I'm gonna make regular grab bag, maybe premium grab bag, um, definitely doodle and script oops. And then I have a lot of add-ons, like grab bag add-ons, so I might do add-on grab bags, but I don't know if I will split them like box and glitter, put them together, or just do glitter, just do box. I think it would be easier for me to do them together and then I can put the washi ones in as well. I'll probably do that and then I imagine you're buying those for like a range of functionals and then you would get more variety anyway. So lots to be getting on with. I think I'm gonna do the freebie now. I'm gonna try and tackle everything in like priority order. It's now about quarter to six and <laughs> I've not really got that much done today. Um, I did do the stationery day freebie. It's a world stationery day, not national stationery day. This is the design I went for. We've got some doodles in like the normal size and then some slightly bigger ones because I thought these might do well in like journals as a planning and a reading tracker. And then some of these little um, like doilies that are now in the journaling kits. I did them on the sampler. These are slightly smaller just so I could fit three across. So this is the World Stationery Day freebie and this will be in all orders placed on Wednesday the 26th of April. 
I'm still going with my script restocks, but I'm doing really well. I think once I've done these ones, I'll then have restocked every script request that I have. Not every out of stock script, but every one that was requested back. So I'm really pleased about that. So after that, I'll work on restocking requested doodles and then I'll go through the other out of stock ones that haven't been requested. So if there is any that you do specifically want, go and request them because that would be like the priority restock list. And then I'll do the other ones just like as and when. Now we are gonna go and make salmon for dinner. I've never made salmon before. Tom expressed an interest in wanting to try it. So we got some, um, no idea if either of us will like it, but I'm hopeful. So I've just finished putting new releases away. I'm really pleased because lately I've been leaving that to the following week and then having to do it before I can get started on anything else. So I've had a pretty productive day overall. I'm gonna leave this vlog here so I can get it edited for tomorrow, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this week's studio vlog. I've just realized I think I've ended the vlog the same exact way <laughs> for the last like 100 videos. I don't know how to reword. I hope you've liked the video in another way. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in the World Stationery Day sale, that is on Wednesday like I mentioned, so don't forget to check that out. I'll have all the information on my social media on Wednesday. But yeah, thanks for watching and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Bye!